Boom, stop. I'm David Tian, PhD, and in this video I answer the question, should I text my ex? Welcome to Man Up episode 151. Masculinity for the intelligent man. I'm David Tian, PhD, and this is Man Up. Hey, this is David Tian, PhD, and welcome to Man Up episode 151. Um, for over the past 10 years, I've been helping hundreds of thousands of people in over 87 countries attain success, happiness, and fulfillment in life and love. And a uh, question here from the private Facebook group um, comes from Henry, and uh, it is another breakup question. So uh, I'll just read out the question. The love of my life broke up with me. We were five years together. I'm 30 now. She is 25. Without any warning, she told me on Monday that she wants to break up with me. I begged her to stay. I said, I only need one chance. I can show her that I'm the right guy but nothing. She says she needs time for herself. After five fucking years, she gives me no chance. She just left our flat and was gone. She said she feels dead inside and that I cannot do anything about it. She said she has to figure out what she wants in her life for herself without me. Okay, so um, that's the background. He's got five pointed questions related to this based on um, the background. And the first question, here we go, Henry. Question number one, our flat is full with her things. I think it will take some time for her to find a new apartment. So no contact is impossible. Now I stay at my mom's house, but that is no option for long. How can I handle that? Okay, so I'm gonna answer these questions one at a time. Oh, by the way, um, I am preparing uh, a how to uh, recover from a breakup, a free course inside the Man Up group. So you gotta join the private Facebook group, then you tap the pin post and you can get all the free video courses there. And that allows me to go into much more detail than I can in a simple Man Up episode. So get into the free video courses. Now, just so everybody knows, the free video courses are, I try, I try to make them short and pithy as well. So they're gonna be, I'm trying to, I originally tried to make them like 20 minutes um, and then they became 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 15 minutes, and now they're over an hour, some of them. So I don't wanna get even longer than that because what happens is, you know, I've been coaching for over 10 years, so I know exactly what happens. Um, guys will start the video and they're like, whoa, it's so long, okay, I'll just put it off. And then they don't get to it and then they don't use it and then they don't get the benefit from it. Um, so I, got, I definitely need to keep it under an hour so that it's easy for guys to get through. Um, and if you want even more in depth, training and, and so on. We have courses that are so comprehensive, you know, they go up to uh, almost 100 hours of, of like training um, and some of that is live. So uh, there's, there's a lot more you can, you can go down and learn more because this is about life uh, as hopefully you're discovering if you've been following um, these videos. Uh, so, but anyway, the free video courses are there, they're for free. So go ahead and uh, join the private Facebook group tap the pin post, you can find them there. There's one on how to recover from a breakup. So Henry, you should take that because I'm gonna go into a lot more detail in that course um, that will be pertinent to your question. But I'm gonna answer this question and um, put it in this Man Up episode. So actually, so for your, the answer to your question number one, it goes into, a, I go into a lot more detail on that in the how to recover from a breakup video course. All right, but uh, I'll, I'll give you uh, an even briefer answer, annotated answer here. Um, right now, uh, so no contact is impossible. Um, okay, but you're staying at your mom's house. So uh, you've got to get this, you just need to, to figure out the logistics on this. Um, you got to get a new place um, and maybe you can move into your mom's place for the next three, four months. Besides, for the next three or four months, I don't recommend that you do a lot of dating. This is contra uh, game coaches and pickup artists advice of like go fuck 10 girls or something. Um, that is not a good way psychologically to build your self esteem, which is what you need to do at this point. Um, it's not to just distract yourself with more pleasure. It's pretty easy to distract yourself with pleasure. Um, if, especially if you live in a first world country or actually, especially if you have any kind of money, <laughs> actually it doesn't matter where you live, um, as much. Um, but, uh, what you really need to do is to, uh, like assess your situation and regroup um, and build your self-esteem from there. So actually that's what <laughs> everybody should be doing actually. But even more so when you're recovering from a breakup. So how can you handle it? Uh, um, you've got to get your own place and then move your stuff out. Um, minimize, you want to go with minimal contact, minimal contact or you're going to drag this thing out even worse and hurt yourself even more. Okay, question number two. Oh God, I love her so much. How can I stop myself from texting her to take me back? 
Well, one thing is, hopefully, like most people nowadays, you don't remember her fucking phone number, <laughs> right? Because most of us save the number, but we don't remember the actual digits, so delete that number. Look, if in an emergency, you have mutual friends, I'm sure it'll be easy to get her number back. Besides, you don't even need people's numbers anymore. You know, if you're connected to her, if she has a Facebook account or whatever, you can just easily message or call her through that. Um, but whatever it is, on the device, your device itself, make it difficult for you to call her. Um, and I'll be getting to that. Uh, oh yeah, actually the next three questions are about, about that. So let me just read those out. Um, the next question about texting, he says, I have so many questions about why and why at this time, etc. but we all know no answer can make my pain less or yeah, no answer can make your pain less. You do not want her like even her right now. You just told me she's confused. She wants to figure out what she wants in her life for herself without you. She doesn't know what she wants. And most youngsters, you guys are in your twenties. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't know what she wants. Give me a break. She doesn't, she's not self-aware enough. So, uh, asking her like, why are you breaking up? She's not going to even, even if she wants to tell you the truth. Uh, and let's just assume that that's the case, though. It's not the case for many people. She's probably not going to tell it. Like most women, they're not going to tell you the truth, which is like, uh, you're not hot anymore or whatever, or, or I'm bored with you. Or, um, you know, she's wondering, uh, where's the passion, um, in our relationship now, you've been together for five years. So you're out of the honeymoon stage. So you're fucked, right? Go watch my previous videos on the companionate curve. Uh, I just made that up uh, the, the, the term, I mean, but basically the, the difference between passionate attraction, which is like, Foof, and then it goes like deadline, um, versus companionate attraction, which builds gradually. Most people do never, never make it to companionate attraction. They're just passionate, passionate. And all these youngsters, you guys are in your twenties, thirties, uh, you guys don't know fucking know. And people in their forties, they don't fucking, they don't know shit all about love. They don't, they never took a course on it. They never educated themselves on it. They just know passion. Passion is a purely chemical thing. That's all. You can just induce it with the fucking chemical. Like it's basically like it's it's easy to create. It's just newness, novelty, and physical attraction. That's it. Um, so uh, they're gonna get that passion. Poof, right? It goes up, and then she's gonna wonder how come it's not so passionate anymore. So she's not gonna know. One of the things is uh, when you come in after at the five year mark, um, you're, you're probably she's probably going through a quarter life crisis as well. She doesn't know what's going on. Don't ask her. None of her answers will help you. Um, number four, should I delete Facebook? Oh, okay, so here's what we'll get to it. So first of all, on your device, how can you stop yourself from messaging her, not just texting her, but messaging her? On um, every platform where you're connected, uh, you want to disconnect. So um, you definitely want to unfollow her. And if you find yourself unable to resist the temptation of messaging her, then just go ahead and, and uh, unfriend her or whatever it is. You might even want to block her uh, for your own good. So in other words, like if you're tempted to, because when you block somebody on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on whatever profiles or uh, social media platforms, you have to go through the step of unblocking and then messaging, right? So like just make it as hard as possible. Now in this digital age, it is almost impossible unless you like, you're going to, should I delete Facebook entirely off your phone? Um, I, I think if like, if you really, if you find yourself blocking, unblock, if you unblock, if you block and unblock, and message, then that's really bad. And if you find yourself doing that, then, and, and you want to get over the, her quickly um, and move on with your life and recover quickly, uh, then yes, then yes, you should X, you should delete that app off your phone. You should make it very difficult for you, for you to, to give into that temptation late at night and uh, message her. Um, but hopefully you have enough self-discipline in your life. Um, but I understand if you've been in a five year relationship and you're just broken up, um, how difficult that can be. Uh, but uh, I would just block her so that for your benefit, so that you don't see her um, when you go on to Facebook or uh, when you go uh, onto your WhatsApp, whatever. You don't see her image um, icon or whatever uh, in your in your chat history. Um, that's for your own good, so you're not tempted to. You, you need to end up needing to take extra steps in order to contact her. That's really important, and in fact. One other thing, in, in the old school way of doing it was to write down all of her info in an emergency and then hand that to a friend and then to, so that just in an emergency, you know, somebody else is somebody else you can trust in, in that person's safekeeping. And then you delete everything off your own phone and out of your house. Um, that's where you want to get. But um, in the digital age, it's very difficult to disconnect entirely from another human being. But you can start with blocking on the various platforms that you find her on. Okay. Um, Last question. I have a million pictures of her on my phone. Should I really delete all these memories? Yeah. 
Now, if you want to uh, maybe look at them as like a history later on, then save them into a separate folder, put them on a jump drive or a hard drive, like an external drive, and then hand that external drive to your friend uh, for safekeeping and telling him, do not, let, do not give this back to me for at least, uh, if it's a five-year relationship, say a year. Do not let me have this for another year. Um, and, and basically like, the, long, the shorter the relationship, the shorter you need to have that time um, constraint. But um, for five years, one year sounds pretty reasonable. So you hand that to your best friend and say, protect me from myself. Do not let me see these photos for another year. That way you can have them because when you get older, you look back and it's, it's, it's just a marker of how you've grown. Hopefully you've grown through this um, and you will if you take the free video course that I've got um, and you have to make this into um, something that is actually gonna propel you forward into growth. Um, and something good comes, something great can come out of this. Um, but uh, that can only happen if you distance yourself right now as you're healing, all right? So yes, you need to delete it off your phone so that you don't just like go and look at it because you know what this is gonna be like. Uh, but you don't have to delete them out of your life entirely. Save them into an external drive, give it uh, to your friend for safekeeping um, so it's hard for you to access that drive. Simple as that, you wanna basically minimize um, anchors to that trigger memories that are painful for you right now. Um, so that's the, that's the uh, review or the summary. Um, and that's part of moving out of your, uh, your current apartment and finding a, a new uh, living arrangement for yourself. Um, and I, that's a good overall theme. You wanna break those anchors that are triggering painful memories at the moment and uh, that will allow you to give into temptation. You wanna remove those obstacles in your life right now and uh, give yourself the time and space to heal. And then not just to heal, because healing makes it sound like you're going back to where you, like baseline, but to actually grow from it. That's very important. Um, okay, so that's episode 151. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'm doing live shows inside the Facebook group. Um, so you can interact with me. Or you can ask your questions and get your answers um, live in the courses, in, in the Man Up group. So join the private Facebook group, um, and I'll see you inside the group in the live show. Uh, for now, Man Up. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!